So my name is Mike Segala, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of SFL Scientific. So today I'm going to talk about a uh, use case of using deep learning on big images and how technologies like this from a hardware and a software uh, situation are really allowing us to do things that are revolutionizing a lot of different traditional industries. So just a bit about us before we start. So as I mentioned, I run SFL Scientific. So we're a data science consulting company. So what we really focus on is building out very custom bespoke solutions for a lot of different clients doing a lot of different data related activities. Uh, most of this work can kind of be thought of from a twofold perspective, right? From an engineering side of view, how do you actually set up and think about engineering and architectures and infrastructures that allow you to process and house large amounts of information? And then from an algorithm side, once you have that information, how do you start applying some really interesting algorithms or math statistics to that to pull out some really interesting business value? Uh, so the company was founded by myself uh, and two others. We all came out of academia, a lot of physics PhDs, uh, and now we're pretty much focused, uh, located here in the Northeast, but we have clients throughout the country and the world as well. So, <clears throat> so the use case that we're going to talk about today is just one of the kind of highlights around deep learning, um, and this is for an insurance company that we worked with. So traditional insurance companies, they really care about assessing risk and then when you take out a mortgage or a house or something like that, they need to know how much to charge you, and then they need to know how much, if there's damage, how much that is going to be reimbursed for. So this is this whole process of underwriting. So when they're doing these underwriting services, somebody literally needs to come out to your home, they need to assess the square footage of your house, if there's damage to the roof, do you have a trampoline, is there a pool that the baby's going to fall into? Right, a lot of these factors play into what they're going to charge you from a monthly or yearly perspective. So this is an extremely time consuming and costly thing for the underwriter services themselves, right? A person needs to come out. So the idea here is, can you take images, right? Satellite images that are constantly hovering around us that are capturing overhead aerial views of houses and can we actually take those images in near real time and assess all of these features, right? Can we add some algorithmic kind of understanding on top of that where we can automatically detect houses in structures of roofs and properties and things of that nature. So this is not a small undertaking, right? We're talking about nearly the entire coverage of the United States, right? So tens if not hundreds of millions of buildings and structures and other things. So from a technical challenge, right, there's obvious business implications from an ROI perspective, but technically it's very complicated. You have a huge amount of volume of images, a huge variability amongst what you're looking at, and you have to build these end-to-end -end robust pipelines that can now replace humans, right? This is, this is a real case of automation replacing a complete industry. So the cost, right? There's obviously an associated cost with setting up algorithms like this, but you have to think of the potential savings, right? There's a huge underlying savings to the business. So what we came in, right? Our objective is can we develop a fully automated pipeline to detect and classify all things about properties, right? What does the roof look like? What is the condition of that roof? Is there a tree hanging over it such that the next storm will knock it down and cause damage to the roof? Are there solar panels? Are there pools? Whatever it is, right? We need to be able to fully automate this process. And at the end, this is what we would hope to see, right? This is your neighborhood. Each neighborhood you can drill down and see very specifics about the house, what the roof was, and then if any change has detected, right? If we go from month to month or season to season, do we see new damage on that roof and does that actually tie back to the claim that that person has made? So the client had started out, um, they knew that, well, first they needed to start collecting these images, and then the idea was they have to have, or they had 30 people working full time to actually annotate these images, right? Can we take these images and somebody go in there and label everything that's a sunroof or whatever it happens to be? So this is a huge cost to them, but what they were essentially were doing, I don't even think they realized it, but they were building a very detailed training set, right? They had 30 people manually labeling thousands and thousands of images, building us a really robust training set. So they had tried some very traditional computer vision methodologies, right? Some out of the box open CV and such, but was getting nowhere. Right? So this is when they were seeing huge high false positive rates and things of that nature. And this is at the point where they brought us in. And we quickly obviously discussed with them the need for moving from a traditional computer vision methodology to how do you accelerate this using GPU technology. Right? How can we invoke the latest kind of software and hardware stack to solve a very difficult problem? 
So that's exactly what we did. So there's pretty much three main things that we need to think about when we build these end-to-end -end image processing pipelines. The first is, how do we actually build an annotation tool such that somebody could sit there and label these things on the fly? You need to be able to encapsulate the roof feature in the solar panels, in the pools, in a way that somebody can quickly go through this and actually create your training set. Once you do that, right, now how do you actually deal with petabytes, if not femtabytes or anything of that scale of images coming in off the satellite stream in near real time, right? That's a huge engineering undertaking. And then finally, of course, we get that, we have the images, we have the pipeline, now let's do the fun stuff, right? What's the deep learning architectures? What is the infrastructure that we're going to use to actually be able to do something really sophisticated? So just to give you a bit of a, uh, a hint into this, right? So we, we help them completely build out their entire hardware um, and software stack. Right? We were able to utilize a lot of open data sets that actually existed on the internet that already labeled things like solar panels and trees. But we obviously relied extremely heavily on purchased satellite information from hovering satellites and also from drones. Then we, we really kind of sat down and we thought really long and hard about the current neural network architectures out there and how to build something nearly from scratch using TensorFlow and NVIDIA GPUs and such to go through this entire kind of process of being able to do this. And this ended up being quite successful. So we had a kind of first phase timeline of about six months. And in this, in this process, we were able to completely do everything that we were set out to do. Right? We were able to put this full loop in there from ingestion of the data, from labeling to actually the algorithms with a complete quality control feedback. So as new labels, images are coming in and being labeled, we're able to put that into our training set. So now you can get rid of your 30 people working around the clock image labeling. Right? So that's a huge cost savings to the business. And what you have is a completely scalable solution for this insurance underwriting use case. Right? So now what we've literally done right, in a six months time is we've taken an industry that relies on humans going out to somebody's home and manually labeling things to being able using satellite images and deep learning technology to actually revolutionize what they've been doing for the past, I don't know, 50 or 100 years or so. So here's just a kind of fun little example. I know it's really hard to see since you guys are far by, but this is roughly a, an image of, I don't know, maybe 500 or 1,000 homes or something. And what you can see the algorithm starts to do, right? It, it goes in there and starts building very kind of strict bounding boxes around the houses. And then once these bounding boxes, you kind of zoom in, you can see key features like here's the square footage of the home. Here are the identified trampolines or pools. And then if you dig down even further, you can start to see even granular detail, like here's the quality of the roof. Here's the actual material that the roof is made of. So it's a pretty remarkable results that you were able to get out. So of course, this is only the first thing, right? There's, there's tons of other things that we want to think about, right? Can you identify the difference between above ground or in ground pool, right? Small differences like this actually are really meaningful from an insurance policy standpoint. So by no means, right, is this a finished solution. We can think about all sorts of different segmentation, classification, regression metrics around the deep learning architectures themselves. Oh, good. I got about another minute. So, um, so this is just a really quick use case, right? So this is how do you build an end-to-end -end pipeline on image analysis and insurance. But by no means is this only applicable to insurance itself, right? Every field out there today is kind of pushing towards this end-to-end -to -end pipeline using some kind of machine learning or deep learning, right? From healthcare to agriculture, manufacturing, security, transportation, all these industries themselves are being underlined, changed fundamentally with a lot of the technologies that are coming out literally, you know, in the last few months and, you know, will be happening in the last next few years. So that's us. I made my time. So again, so we're SFL Scientific. Um, if you want to chat, again, we're, we're a consulting company. So we really help all sorts of people solve varying different types of um, challenges with their company. And we're, we're back there in the innovator booth near the big NVIDIA tent. Thank you, guys.